Welcome to another video from Guilao 60. I'm in Guiyang, Guay, Guiyang City in uh, Guizhou Province this morning. And you can see behind me that uh, Guiyang City is growing leaps and bounds. And that's because of the high tech that's here in the city. Uh, it's the home of uh, Apple Cloud for China. It's got Huawei, it's got Tencent. Oh yeah, these a lot of large companies are coming here. Today we're going to Hanke It's a it's a company that actually builds metal vehicle chassis using 3D printing. Yeah, the technology of 3D printing. Now they can just print you a car here in China. Go figure. So let's go over there, check it out, and uh, let's have some fun today. Well, I've actually made it to the factory here, and uh, you can see behind me uh, some autonomous uh, vehicles that they've uh, actually been selling on the market here over the last number of years. Okay, but this one here, this is, this, is, this is the one that's really interesting to me. You can see the frame on this one here, and this is uh, a metal vehicle chassis that's actually built with a 3D printer right over there. And you can see how everything sort of uh, attaches to this chassis. And I'll give you a, a, a little video of the, of the chassis with nothing on it now. And, and you can see what it looks like there. And now you can see what it looks like with, uh, with everything attached. And then all you have to do is sort of stick a body on top of that and uh, away it goes. Driverless, driverless stuff. Some of the concepts that they're coming up with in uh, in this factory in the pix factory is uh is crazy like but you know it's all futuristic stuff if you look behind me the the board behind me uh this is sort of a, a brainstorming of of the people at work here and and what is going to be available in the future and uh, this bus here is actually this bus over here check this out and this is just a prototype they're just in the in the process of uh of this is the, the first one the only one they're in the process of setting this up and uh these are autonomous they they figure in the future all you'll have to do is uh get onto your cell phone say well i need groceries and uh, one of these things will drive up to your front door and you go out and you buy your groceries from an autonomous vehicle or you want something bought from a store uh, and uh, one of these puppies will uh, show up on your front doorstep uh, and sell you a shirt a pair of pants uh, you know restaurant food stuff that's cooked or you know what do they got here they've got uh, an uh, autonomous little workshop a living room just a gymnasium come right to your front door uh, a place to go to sleep I think, I think the, the, the most interesting too are the, the fresh fruit and fresh veggies and the coffee hey if you could have a Starbucks come to your front door and deliver your Starbucks to you think about that so you see all of this stuff this is all brand new technology here in, in China, in Guiyang, China. So they uh, they build the chassis, they put the, the all of the gear to the chassis, and then they, they put a body on top of it, and uh, away it goes. That's not economist, she's cleaning the floor. What the people at the factory here actually call these things is a moving space, because that's exactly what it is. Uh, you can, uh, you can put a gym in there. You can put a, a, a little store in there. You could, you know, basically use it for an office if you wanted to. You could sleep in these things. It's a, it's a moving space, and that's what they're selling it as. And I think they've got the right idea with something like this, just for the fact that who says a car has to be a car? We are actually going to be taking the bus out for a, an autonomous ride here in a little bit. They, you know, they powered it up. They got it all ready for us here this morning. So this afternoon, that's what we're going to do is we're going to go on an autonomous ride with no driver, no steering wheel, nothing. It's a, uh, it'll be, it'll be a first for, for Guelao. I'll tell you that right now.
like to sit in an autonomous vehicle with no steering wheel and leave it all up to the computer to drive you around? Well, pretty quick, I'll tell you. You know, it, they, they have 80 engineers working at this company to design things like this. Amazing, isn't it? Like seriously, the technology that's coming out of places like this is second to none. I tell you. And here you have it, a 3D printer actually printing uh, a metal vehicle chassis. Go figure, eh? The technology nowadays is, is, is going in leaps and bounds and you see this all over China that, uh, you know, they're on the cutting edge of technology. Factories like this actually are everywhere in every city. Not this particular product, but things similar to this. It's, it's uh, one of those things that they're, they're ahead of the rest of the world. And uh, it's stuff like this that uh, the technology, the innovation that makes them excel like they do. Let's go over there and take a look at some of these buddies here. They call them like skateboards, eh? And you, and you wonder why they call them skateboards because they're basically just a platform that you can just put uh, any any body on. So you, you can have a bottom and you can have a, a car top and you can have a van top and you could have a dune buggy top or whatever. And they're just interchangeable because really there's no steering wheel. There's really nothing there that you need other than the frame, the wheels, the electric motors of batteries and, and stuff and those are all on the skateboard platform like these ones here I get a kick out of coming to places like this like I really do it's one of those things that uh, if I didn't pick up a camera and start doing uh, videos on social media I wouldn't have a clue this stuff was going on but uh, now that I'm privy to it you can see China is ahead of the rest of the world in stuff like this. It's amazing. This company is a new company and building new products, they have to build everything from scratch. They have to build from metal, they have to build, wow, everything. So they have the machines over here to do that. You know, it's actually got a fairly simple wiring harness to it too, guys. Hey, look at this. If you think about it, there's not a lot to these vehicles. You've got uh, four electric motors, uh, one for each wheel. Uh, you've got uh, a frame, the, the chassis, and uh, a set of batteries and uh, a computer, and that's basically it. And you're probably wondering how heavy this is. Well, I can actually lift it off the floor, so it's... Uh, I would imagine it would probably be about 200 pounds or maybe 100 kilograms, the whole metal chassis that everything sort of bolts to. And because it gets a little bit dusty in here, because it's a factory, guys, uh, they've got workstations for the engineers, they've, you know, different places where they can work in uh, a better climate, uh, less noise, uh, less, less dust and, and stuff. But uh, when you look at a place like this, my God, there's, there's a lot going on in Guiyang at the Pix factory here in Guiyang. Amazing, isn't it? And that, my friends, is another video from Guilao Sexy. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And whatever you do, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye now. Uh, leave the um, battery, let's say, because in traditional cars we have, um, let's say, engine and the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, that takes a lot of space of the upper body. Right? Exactly, yes. Yes, but once we've saved that, save them into chassis. Because we save anything.
No, it's okay. So, so instead of instead of selling my vegetables out of the back of a Wulin van, I can get one of these and I can sell my vegetables out of this. Exactly. Cool. And then you can just click on your phone, and then you can get a robo bus or moving a, space. A bus will just come with the groceries to my door, and and exactly. there you go. It's like oh, a delivery. that's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and that's all driven by. Uh, it's all autonomous driven. All autonomous, all computerized. Yes. Cool. And I think so. Would 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 you if if one of these was driving down the highway at 60 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour, would you trust it not to screw up? Uh, for now, for there's now, you know there's no, no a fully autonomous driven car in the highway. But I think maybe less than 10 years, um, it, it'll be yeah it'll be totally safe because yeah. uh, there's no um, laws about the autonomous driving car, right? Yeah. And uh, the technology, let's be honest, the technology is still, um, let's say, growing. Yeah. yeah but, but, but we're developing it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So it's like, um, so for now, it's like uh, the moving, the, the autonomous driving cars, they're, um, they're driving in the maybe a special uh, a special place. area yeah, yeah. Special area. okay not out there in the public not yet yet not yet yes <laughs> we're still working on the glass okay but lots of room inside that's for sure eh? Yes. <laughs> you can stand up in this puppy exactly okay take me to the bar <laughs> hey? Yeah. Or you or bring the bar to me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the idea. Yeah. But uh, we actually have the bench but now we're actually in the assembling part, so we take out the bench. Well, we have to um get to those system in the wire okay. again. Yeah. Yeah.